Hey viewers, welcome to our indices series. Today's topic is on modified normalized difference water index. It is the index which is used to separate the water features from the land features. It is calculated by using green and shortwave infrared. Its value generally varies from minus 1 to 1. Satellite images used are Landsat Sentinel and Model. Bands used for calculating MNTW. So let's start. MNTWI in QGIS. For calculating MNTWI, we need band 3 and band 6 as we are using here Landsat 8 data. So let's add the band 3 and band 6 satellite image which is the green and shortwave infrared bands. For calculating the MNTWI, we need to click on just the calculator. Be careful while putting the formula. Now save to file. And OK. Our MNTWI was calculated. Generally, it is the modified version of NTWI. Let's classify photo properties single band pseudo color. Interpolation as linear, mode as equal interval, and classes as 5. You can see the dark blue patches are the water features we can identify. If we want to identify the water features from the built up areas, then we have to change the symbology of all other features. So let's change it. To identify more clearly the water features from the built up areas. The positive values here are the water features, so we will not change this, but we will change the negative values. The lower negative values represent a vegetation. And the mid negative values represent the built up areas. Now I apply OK. Here the blue patches are the water features we already know but we can see the blue patches in the built up areas also. MNTWI in ArcMap. First of all again let's add the green and shortwave infrared bands for calculating the MNTWI. Now in the search box, search for raster calculator. Open the raster calculator. Now carefully put the formula. Now save to output raster. Save and OK. Now after the calculation of MNTWI, let's classify the image again and identify the water features from the respective area. Now let's change the symbology. We will change the value into high as 1 and low as minus 1. 
now we will choose the color Now here we can identify the water features. You can see the blue color represent the water features and the small patches of the blue represent also the water features from the built up areas. This can be the dams, ponds or, or the small man-made reservoirs. MNTWI gives us more accuracy of water features as compared to the NTWI. 